Okay, folks, richpodest.com, Christchurch in New Zealand. So this is a an update to an existing clip that is in place on YouTube that shows how to create a Word document using the Word connector from a SharePoint source and using a Power App. Uh, a few people have asked in that um, video how to take the file that and not just send it an email, I actually push that as a Word document into SharePoint. Um, so it's super easy to do that. Um, and the step is right here. Um, so what you're going to need to do, so I've just added this in, is the the SharePoint create file item. Of course, if you were going to do this uh, fresh, uh, all you need to do uh, is SharePoint create file action. So we'll just put this underneath just to show you how, what that should look like. Um, so click it, SharePoint, and then cleverly called create file. When you do that, you're going to need to put in the list library, wherever it's going to go, um, and then click the little folder icon to figure out the library where it's going to move to. So shared docs, right? And then name of the file and the content of the file are really easy to add. Um, so I'll show you this because I don't want to mess with the one I've already got, but basically I need an ID or, or I need a, a something, right? Something unique. If I run the flow with the same ID every time, it's going to keep updating that file. So I want the ID. So what I've done here is the ID of the actual item. Um, it's coming from the very first trigger of ship of this. So it's a SharePoint. When an item is created and modified, we're taking that ID. Um, and to do that, basically use the dynamic um, elements on the right hand side. When you click into a field, find the correct action or trigger and then take the ID from it. And then for a Word document, you're going to want to put .docx at the end of it. And then the super easy bit for the file content, normally with the OneDrive step, you'd put in um, so the like a you know OneDrive file content. But for, the, for this one, you just take the step from populate a Microsoft Word template. That's it. So when on this side, in the content section, you're going to have that basically it's a populate Word document. And that's all you put in that and it's done. All right, so let's remove this little guy here. So he says delete. So keep that as it is and run a test to show you what we've got. So over here, SharePoint library, um, just a regular SharePoint library with a bit of an extension on the top. Um, and let's test it. Just going to run that again. There was a little bit of a blip there, I think, because I had that previous piece in. So let's test that again. I think that was just a flow, a flow something going on. But basically, what we've done: take the ID of the item, so number four, okay, um, and then scroll down through the steps. So it's created stuff. Um, I've actually created another file in another location um, as a PDF in another library, just for fun, for a previous step. But down here, my create file step has happened, and my email is fired. So shared documents in the site's DSI 2019. So here we are, 2019, and there is the document. So there it is, and this will actually bring through the elements that I want um, for this sort of, um, if you've seen the previous steps, rather than having combined text all, all, all pulled together, I did a bit of a, uh, a concat change. Um, trying to replace for some of these items so they're very bullet points but it, that's all it is so basically back through the flow all you're going to want to do is have create file in SharePoint sitting after the populate Microsoft Word template select your library select the folder within the library if you need it and then give your item an, a name with a docx extension and then grab the populate Microsoft Word template um, as your file content and it's as easy as that job done cheers hope this helps